I'm T Pain from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQt installation in three minutes. This series will work on PySide, PySide 2, PyQt 4, and PyQt 5. And this series will work with Python 2.0 and Python 3.0 and above. If you have these all installed, feel free to skip this tutorial. This series will not work with Monty Python though. Har 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 har. <laughs> okay. To check if your system has Python installed, type the following into your terminal, console, or command line. Python dash dash version. And for me, I have version 2.7.14 installed. If you do not have Python installed, or you do not have your environment variables pathed up correctly, then this command will not necessarily work. If you do not have Python installed, Windows users can download from python.org slash downloads. Linux users, Python usually comes installed in one form or another. And Mac users, I'm not sure Google is your friend. <laughs> I'd recommend using Python versions 2.7 and 3.4 as these are both compatible with PySide, which we'll be using by and large. The current versions of PySide currently only work with Python versions 2.7, 2.6, 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. If you have Python installed and simply need to add it to your environment variables so you can access it in your command line, simply press Windows key pause to open up your control panel. Click advanced settings right here. Click environment variables at the bottom. And then down below in your system variables, select path, edit. And there you can put your path to Python where you have it installed. For me, I have it installed in the D drive under Python 2.7 and Python 3.6. To check if you have PySide or PyQt installed, Enter the following lines into your terminal, command line, or command console. Python, which simply starts up Python, import PySide, and import PyQt. If there are no errors following these commands, you'll know that you have both installed successfully. For Windows users, when you install this version, pip will typically come installed with the program. However, if you cannot access it from the command line, you can simply go to your Python installation folder slash scripts slash pip to access pip and in your command terminal or console line, include that path to pip space install space PySide to install PySide. Super easy. For Linux users, you can type sudo space apt dash get space install space Python dash PySide, or it could be Python 3 dash PySide if you're installing PySide for the 3.0 and above versions of Python. And now for PyQt4 and PyQt5 installation. For Linux users, it's super easy. Just type sudo space app hyphen git space install space python hyphen PyQt5 or PyQt4 or just PyQt. For Windows users, just install PySide. I would not recommend installing PyQt because it requires installing SIP. It's a lot more complicated than it is for PySide. There used to be binary and exe files that made it easy, but now it's just a ridiculous breadcrumb trail. At least that's my personal feelings on it. All right, great work. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch using Python, PySide, and PyQt, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.